understand the magnitude of this untold stories episode four today man we got a real bay area pioneer man he got he got his name cemented in this pavement out here you feel me the cutty man you feel me all the way from the v man the cutty kilo kirk kilo kirk was popping with you man how you doing man yeah yeah yes sir so it's a pleasure to have you today bro yeah for sure and uh, get to talking about some untold stories, some real cutty stories, man. You feel me from okay. back in the day that people don't even know about. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. So it's, good. it's lit. Um, so just to start off, how did you get your name Kilo Kurt? Really, it uh, it comes from uh, when I was like like young. But uh, remember the uh, N.W.A. song? Uh, N.W. Uh, Easy had a song called Boys in the Hood. Yeah, yeah, and, heck like, yeah. Kilo G. Oh, uh, heck yeah. So that kind of already put it out there. But as I was growing up, you know what I'm saying, I started already getting in the game, you know what I'm saying? I started right, selling keys and shit, so right, right. my homeboys just, they just stuck with me <laughs> right, right. as a kid, so that's what, kind of where it came from, right. you selling dope and shit, you know what I'm I kind of so, figured, but I didn't want to, like, jump to conclusions, you feel me? But I was like, he probably got it from selling dope. Right? Yeah, because uh, <laughs> one, one, when I was young, it's probably about, uh, probably like about, about 13, so it was one night, it was, we had like a, in the neighborhood, my partner, the Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, he was like a, a real player type dude. Right, right. So he had a, a, a party. It was called like the Players Ball. Right, right. So all the I'm talking about every damn near every dude in the hood right. was went to this motherfucker. It was lit. So I stayed out though. I was like only one grind. So I kind of like started off with like two ounces. Right. Cut it down. That motherfucker sold out hella quick. I'm like damn. I'm kind of the only one with dope. Right. right? So trap booming. Yeah. So then in the end. I ended up going, one of my partners, I saw him, he usually served me, he didn't have nothing, so I ended up going to one of my other OGs. He was like, uh, what you want? He really wanted, he didn't really want to serve me because he was like, knew my family, yeah, he, didn't, yeah. he didn't know I he was really, he just really know I was in the game, right, you know right. what I'm saying? So, and he said, man, what you want? I said, man, I'm uh, trying to buy like two ounces. He said, man, you buying that much? I was like, hell yeah. He said, all right. He said, give me your money. I gave him the money. That's my... He take the money and then come back. He gave, he gave me nine ounces. Ooh, he put you on. Put them on. He served, he served me for the two and then he fronted me. Right, right. Man, I cut all that motherfuckers down in rocks. Yeah. Man, I sold every one of them. I'm talking about when I woke up in the morning, I counted that motherfucker. I had about man, about $12,000. Ooh, smooth, huh? That, in that night? Yeah, I swear to God, because nobody's talking about right, only right. one grind. I'm just, right. everything, everything, everybody just coming to me. Right, right. So I'm happen. like, damn. So after that, it just like kind of stuck. He was like, man, this, this nigga the kilo. This, yeah, nigga, like this, kilo nigga, this nigga, this little young nigga <laughs> right, grinding. You right. feel me? So after that, it just it became, you know, so I just start selling rocks every day. Like me and my partners. Kilo like, Kurt. So it's every day, and then I had other partners. You know what I'm saying? Them niggas was like already hella grinding. Right, right. So I kind of like, you know what I'm saying? Got that. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Some yeah. of my partners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, like I had a partner named Ray, you know what I'm saying? This nigga, this nigga used to hella grind. Right. And I, I didn't even know this nigga, one time this nigga bought like, like 19 quarter ounces. Oh. It was hella, I'm like, God damn, we was hella young, you know what I'm right, saying? We right. were going to like, he was going to still going to like, you know what I'm saying, junior high and shit. Right. So we're kind of like, you know, going up under that, it's just like, we. that's all we did. Every day we got up in the press, we sold fucking rocks. So as it built on when I got down to like high school, I was already in the game. And so it was just like I was building a name like Kilo and it just it just stuck like that. 
Man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 That's P. So, when, when did you meet Mac Dre? Like, you grew up with him? Yeah, yeah. Mac, really, uh, you know, Mac Dre's uh, from Oakland. Okay. So, when I uh, met Dre, it had to be around, say, like, 87, 88. Mm -hmm. he, was in, uh, he was in the boys' ranch. Okay. So, I was, the Cuddies was already, they was kind of already affiliated on Leonard. Right. Now, I'm, I'm from the Crest, but I was, like, from, you know, Simonton Street. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So, you know, in and out of the Crest, so like coming way over to Leonard Street right, right. Uh, Mark is like at my age I don't really my parents I don't really supposed to be that far yeah, yeah, and, you know, family, your parents don't know you selling dope yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we just was you know doing it our neighborhood had right. everything going right. but you know they, they think I, I play Pop Winter I was selling dope in Pop Winter Come on. you know what I'm saying so yeah, yeah. I, the coach used to have to tell me like I'm gonna tell your mama you ain't coming to practice <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying right, right, right. I, I know all the plays yeah, you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. I'm gonna come to the game I used to be like a flanker back, okay, and then okay. I was on defense a lot, right, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. So, that, that was the main shit, right, I was hella right. fast and shit, so. But, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of what, so when Dre uh, was on at yeah, Fouts, it's like a boys' ranch. Right, right. So, he called home, like on a furlough. So, he came home on a furlough, and that's when I kind of, like, met him, and then went to the studio, and he recorded, uh, like, two hardware radio. Mm. That was, like, on a like on furlough. Right, right, right. So, when he finally got out, you know, we was already, like, Kind of like romping, you know what I'm saying? We was, right, right. We was affiliating our crew. Right, right. So that's kind of, so I said around 87, 88. 87, 88? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then Thiz was made, Thiz, was it Thiz Nation was made in like 90? No, nah, really, uh, Thiz Entertainment was first. I got, yeah, uh, Thiz I Thiz went to, we, we went to the feds first. Right, right. So after we got off the feds, we, we started Thiz Entertainment, because right. at first it was Romp Records, right. but they started indicting all the cutties for bank right. robbery. So right, right. we kind of like switched over, and then when I got out, Everybody kept saying we thizzing, right, we right. thizzing. So we was like, we was gonna, we was gonna say thizz entertainment. Right, right. So mm -hmm. it was kind of like you know, right. taking on that that persona, but you know, making it into a rep label. Yeah. yeah. And then thizz and thizz nation came after G D passed away. It really was in the makings of when Dre was here because oh, okay. he was reaching out to the bank. Right. Right. So we had had a, a studio in uh, West Oakland. Uh, off of Popular, you know what I'm saying? So it was Soundwave Studio. Soundwave yeah, Studio. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a studio over there. So that's kind of how I started. I, I started a mixtape. Yeah. You know, I recorded hella people from the back. Right, right. And I let Dre hear hella songs. He was like, oh, that's dope, Cuddy, that's right. dope. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then right in the makers of that, he like passed away. So oh. so we kind of had the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was kind of stuck with him. Right. I'm like, man, what should I do? And then I just, and then, you know, after he passed with his. Uh, put Thiz Nation, Thiz Entertainment, okay. which we left right there, and then we just, Thiz Nation became a label for the Bay Area, really a distributing company. Okay. Yeah. okay. Hey, what, hey, Kilo, what about the Rom Clown? Who came up with that uh, that, that whole uh, graphic? Like, really, all the cutties, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. So we had, uh, we had started, we had got tattoos, Yeah. you know what I'm saying, in the pen. So yeah. it was kind of like us but it, was the, it, it was the clown, the, the jack in the box. So. Yeah, it, yeah, like coming out with the weed. So we all just sat and thought how we was on, you know what I'm saying, how we was on our, uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, everybody yeah. came up with it, like, what yeah. should it be? It's what really the Joker, be? though. It ain't a clown, you know. We, yeah, don't, we yeah. don't really say clown. We, we call it the, the wrong Joker. And yeah, shit, yeah, you know the wrong saying? Joker. Yeah, yeah, so, but yeah, that's how it really came about in the, uh, in the pen. We already had the... Uh, we already had uh, some jackets, the Rockalone jackets, which, you know what I'm saying, had a man on there with the weed. Mm -hmm. I know we had a shirt somewhere, you know, kind of made of it, but that was our original one. And yeah. then we went in there, we said we were going to do the romp. Yeah. And they did the, you guys just got named after that old school, the old school romper room. Uh, yeah, that kind of started like when we was younger, mm -hmm. and then we used to always play. You know, we'd yeah. be out there because we young, imagine, you know, we still was teenagers. No, for sure, So for we sure. still yeah. had that, that personality of playing and having fun, so we'd be out there on the dope track. And, and, and we'd just start saying, rollers. Yeah, hell yeah. Everybody started hiding their dope, and then we like, in Oakland. Yeah. And they like, oh, y'all play too much, y'all don't know, so and they, like, then dudes just start, really start, you know. Just romping around here for At first, we, we was trying to, like, we didn't take on that name. Mm -hmm. We like, hell no, nah, we ain't no mess nasty kids, nigga, we, we, we gangsters. Yeah, man. hell yeah. That's, that's some, we ain't no rock, we was taking, then we had, we had some shirts called, we put the uh, Leonard Street family. Yeah. And we had the, uh, if you're, uh, you gotta probably look on one of Drake videos, California Living Video. Mm -hmm. And we had some shirts, and we had the uh, uh, now we had the rump room crossed out on the on the front, uh -huh. and we had LSF on the back. Little okay. Street family, like we okay. ain't trying to be the rump. Oh yeah, we're not the rump. Nah, cause they saying we like Miss Nancy. Kid. We, like, <laughs> <laughs> we know who Miss Nancy is. Mm. Well, Coolio was originally uh, started, from the Bay Area, and then he came to uh, yeah. Coolio came to uh, to the Bay Area, I think around like probably eighty seven, eighty eight. 
Um, he was like from uh, Watts, you know what I'm saying? So when he came out there, he was kind of, he used to be on that time too. Right, right, right. He used to really like do a drive-by shooting. <laughs> yeah, that we like cut Cause I would see somebody we didn't like, yeah, they start shooting. Yeah. I'm like, Cuddy, we don't, you can't do it like that out here. <laughs> like, man, I'm like, you can't shoot at a ice cream, man. You can't do a drive-by like that. I'm talking broad daylight. He lied. He lied. He's like, Cuddy, you see him here to start shooting. I'm like, Cuddy, man, dude, we don't do it like yeah, that. Right? You got to change that yeah, kind of memo. You know? Yeah, that nigga used to be sick. As soon as he see he shoot, he drive-by shooting. Now, I saw he did that a couple times. Cowboy. Cowboy. The shit, huh? Yeah, he'll drive-by shooting for sure, yeah. That's the hell of fun, yeah. So you just wait. So you grew up in, like you were born in Vallejo. Or? Yeah, I'm from I'm from Vallejo. Oh, okay. Crest. All right. I mean, when I came to the hospital, I went straight to the Crest, Simonson right. Street. Yes, sir. Yes, block. When did you when you meet like Diggs and everybody? When it's did that my come big, big cousin. So oh, okay. Born, yeah, he was born from me, so I was born to Maul. Maul, my my little kind of yeah. Maul is from uh, like you say kind of say the Mark Mark Street. Like, yeah, that's a Doobie. Yeah, Doobie's from that. But, Doobie from the top of uh, Mark, Marks, you know right? What I'm Mark's dad. Yeah, like this, that the half, and then yeah. you know, Maul more this way, but this all the all from the half. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. more from the half to Sawyer Street. Yeah. How far is all them neighborhoods from the crash? Right, right there, man. We can right we can walk. Right, okay. Like, literally, like you know. So if we funk, we can just right, right, meet up right there. Meet up on Gateway. Right, right. right. Meet in Period. two seconds. 